this is Julie with Beetaholic, and in this show and tell video, I want to show you some additions to our stamping collection. You can see we've got brass and silver plated in a variety of shapes and styles. I just wanted to highlight them in this video because there might be some shapes you haven't seen before. So we've got these great half moon shapes in a variety of finishes, and you can see they've got two holes, which would be perfect if you want to make a dangling earring where you perhaps connect a chain to each hole and connect it with an earring hook or you hang a chain from each end and make a really pretty little necklace. There's these fan shapes with three holes at the bottom and one hole at top, make a great chandelier earring. Plaque shapes, which would be wonderful as bracelet focals. Some of these you can tell really would lend themselves very easily to bracelet focals. Others you can punch holes wherever you want, use bracelet bending pliers on them. You can see they come in a variety of lengths and different widths. And of course you could stamp sayings on these with metal punches as well. Here we have a fun crescent moon shape. You can punch holes wherever you like on it. A puzzle piece, guitar pick, pretty little pendant with this nice detailing along the edge. You can see that these are nice and sturdy. They're thin but they're not so thin that they're going to bend on their own. So they're a really nice substantial piece but they're not so thick that you can't alter them. So there's a really fine area right there and I'm very happy with these guys. There's a bird. I love the lightning bolt, a couple different drop shapes, a fan, variety of crosses, all with a hole at the top. This one is one of my particular favorites. I actually had a necklace like this as a child that I shared with my best friend. And of course we stamped our initials on there. So you could keep one for yourself and give it to a friend or perhaps make a piece of jewelry for a younger girl in your life. And right here, before I move on to the beautiful dragonflies, we've got these great little bolts. I love those. If you're going to go ahead and glue those onto something, you're probably gonna to wanna to use some E6000 glue on those guys. And then we've got these dragonflies. So pretty and beautifully detailed. You can really see that detailing in the big one. These two, you can bend and alter. You can patina them with vintage patinas to add some color. I love these little bales as well. They actually come shaped like this for you. So you can use it like this as just a pretty little drop, or you can use them as a bale. I'm just gonna pull over some chain nose pliers and show you that you can go ahead and open these up and then close them shut again for whatever purpose you want. And then last but not least, just a really pretty floral filigree silver plated stamping here. And again, you're gonna be able to alter these. I can kind of bend it with my hand, but if you have a pair of pliers, you're gonna be able to bend this more so and really make it a customizable piece of jewelry. You can find all these stampings and many more at beadaholic.com.